You spend your life in sweat and toil till your job becomes a part of you, and then they say you're through. How are we doing? No sweat. Everything's under control. Right, Ronnie? Right, Andy. Dad? Oh, hey, oh. Hey, you know the Hello, Andy. Going my way. Hi. Heard you had his daughter. Right, little cracker. <laughs> I'm sure you must have imagined it, Andy. I didn't. I tell you, your man were definitely off me for some reason. I could tell. <laughs> cheers. Oh, cheers, yeah. I wonder what was the matter with her. Do you know? You heard Agnes Parson has got engaged to Len Franks. Yeah. And why? Oh. Aye, poor old Len, eh? Taking a corner flag, going in for yet another try. Still like the lads say, when you've been league's top scorer as long as he has, you're bound to knock on sooner or later. You mean she's... Oh, you don't think he'd be marrying her if she wasn't, do you? He could just be in love with her, you know. In love? With Agnes Parsons. Have you seen her legs? She's at trials for Wakefield Trinity, did Agnes, you know. It scrum off. Well, and what about him? Oh, what about him? He's got a nose on him like a, a bus shelter for starters. Oh, it is a bit of evidence, isn't it, Len's nose? I mean, they're not exactly going to make an handsome couple standing outside church, are they? Him with his nose and her with the rugby league thighs. They could still be very happy together. Yeah, that's true, I know. In fact, it's funny, that, isn't it? Like how all the ugliest ones seem to end up happiest. Perhaps it's a relief at finding someone who'll take them on. Some women bloom when they get married. I can't see that next to Agnes Parsons, though. Not living in shadow of that nose. She never have enough sun on her. <laughs> Not bad, fancy a game. Hi, all right, Jerry. Don't mind if I do. Hey, you don't mind, dear love. I'm going to take 15 minutes. I'll get you another lager. Give her a save again, will you, love? All right, Charlie. I feel right funny not having to go to work anymore. I suppose I will. Early time, is it? Some blokes look forward to now, else. I know. Fourteen grand. <laughs> Can't be bad, Harry. If I ever see any of it. It's bloody marvellous, isn't it? One minute they're commiserating with you for being one of life's casualties. The next minute, they got the sherry out and having their knees up and working out the fastest way of spending my money. <laughs> you never get you down, not having a job. Oh, I suppose it's a case of what you never had, you never missed, do you? Just think, Harry. My generation could turn out to be unique in history in about 30 years' time. How do you mean? First generation ever to retire, never having worked at all. <laughs> Whose beer we're having at the reception? Hey, up, Andy's coming back in. Mum, get away from window. Don't let him see you tooting. You, you saw him then? Yeah. And? He says no. What? He says no. Hey? That's right. And before you say out else, you might be there. 
Now, oh, Rita, do you want to lift, love? You! Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, sorry, Rita, love. Sorry? Look at me frock. Yeah, well, uh, I'll get it clean for you. Look, just get in the car. Get in there? What, with a maniac like you? Just get in, will you? <sighs> well, do you want to lift, or don't you? Well, only because I'm wet through. Right. <laughs> <laughs>